is there really such a thing as perfect exacted revenge? There's the famous quote, of course, that revenge is best served cold with a side of sin. For every action, there is reaction. Revenge is really satisfying. Someone has done something to you, and then there's nothing more exciting than planning of how you're going to get that person back. It can just bring out the worst in you, something you didn't even know you had, and that can be really exciting. Jenny is a perfect venue for all of our frustrations in life. Nothing gives me more pleasure than not liking Jenny. She is precious, self-mythologizing. I want to see her on Oprah like James Fry getting fried by her with the stiletto to her face. If we put Jenny's brain on this level, if this could actually me measure someone's sanity, if, if sanity could in fact be measured, I mean, well, though Jenny has always, always been pretty irritating. She takes things to a whole new level this season. She sells out her friends with her Romana Clay about them, selling all their secrets and her personal opinions of them down, you know, she's just all of her friends are going, going to hell um, by Jenny's pen. Her friends have been really forgiving and they have cut her huge slabs of slack more than she ever deserves. And as we see in the finale, Jenny just flies off the rail. She gets a new dog. She names it Sounder, this little frou-frou thing. She's feeling the hatred at, at Tasha's going away party. She gets on a boat. She floats off into the sunset. Fate has taken care of Jenny. What are the ways people would like to get back at Jenny? Because God knows she screwed each and every one of her friends over. What would you do to Jenny? What would you do to Jenny? Or you can scratch your face off. He's a little kung fu fighter. This is too cuddly a moment for uh, revenge fantasies. <laughs> One, get out a voodoo doll and go have at it. You can ignore her. You could tie her up and bind really juicy fresh steaks to her and take her to a dog fight and throw her in the pit with a bunch of very hungry pit bulls. You can call her parents and have them pick her up. You can lobotomize her. I think the healthiest thing to do is to let it go. That is, whether you call it forgiveness or forgetting, just let it go.